Welcome, in today's video we're going to be going through three altcoins with great potential during this bull run. All research links will be provided below. So let's dive straight into the video. The first altcoin we're going to be speaking about is undervalued compared to its competitors, which is near protocol. Please do be mindful as recently it has pumped up in price, but does have more room to grow. So what is near protocol? Near Protocol is a layer 1 blockchain. You can compare a layer 1 blockchain to the base of a kid's playground. Just as the base provides space for slides, swings and equipment to be built on top of the base, Near Protocol acts as the base for decentralized applications to be built and installed on top of its blockchain. So what is Near Protocol trying to achieve? It aims to be one of the fastest and most securest layer 1 blockchains, outrivaling its competitors such as Solana, Cardano, Ethereum and more. If you are not familiar with layer 1 blockchains, they tend to face issues such as high transaction fees, outages, slow processing time and much more. And as they grow bigger and scale, these issues become more and more frequent. Near Protocol is a layer 1 blockchain aiming to solve this all. So why does Near Protocol have further potential? First of all, it has a strong and dedicated team as a driving force who have been building and developing Near Protocol for almost seven years. The CEO will take stage this month at the latest 2024 NVIDIA conference, clearly symbolizing that what they are building is being recognized and valued by leading tech giants. Second of all, Near Protocol has over 200 decentralized applications built on top of it. All of these applications are relying on Near Protocol to consistently deliver. As mentioned previously, the foundation has to be strong so that everything that is built on top of Near Protocol can successfully thrive. The third point is interesting as it is a leading layer 1 blockchain with the most unique active wallets of around 7.3 million users who are interacting and transacting using the blockchain. This clearly shows that the near protocol layer 1 solution is being used on a frequent basis. The blockchain also has a massive amount of funding of around half a billion dollars to support its long-term growth. This will allow it to scale and grow without the constraints of cash flow. And finally, in comparison to its competitor Solana, Near Protocol is sitting seven times less in terms of market cap. However, as Solana gained traction because of decentralized applications, low transaction fees, multiple token airdrops and more, Near Protocol hasn't really gained the traction following a specific narrative or topic. And this puts the question, will it ever do so? Coin number two, Kudos. So what is Kudos? Kudos is a cloud infrastructure platform. Cloud infrastructure refers to the digital space where your online data lives. Imagine it as a giant virtual storage room where all your pictures, videos, data, and everything you use online is stored. Amazon Web Services is an example of a cloud platform. However, the data that is stored is in centralized data centers plotted across the world. Kudos is a platform that does not own data centers. However, they work with thousands of providers across the world and connect them with companies who are looking to rent out data space. Just like how Airbnb works, where they host the platform and they connect people who are looking for accommodation with those who are renting. So why does Kudos have great potential? The demand for cloud infrastructure is massive and is set to reach $1 trillion in expenditure by businesses in 2024. The demand has recently been driven by AI technology and as it develops and becomes more advanced, there needs to be space to host all of this data. And that's where Kudos comes in, to provide a supply to a demanding market. The CEO of Kudos is a leading inspiration in this space and has been in the industry for almost 25 years with a solid track record of building a company that hosts data centers and selling it for around $20 million. He understands the industry inside out and this is why he developed Kudos to solve traditional data center problems such as scalability, cost and underused servers. They already have clients who are spending over $250,000 using their cloud services. With the rapid growth of this sector, they are forecasting to reach over $10 million per month in revenue by 2026. 
Kudos is yet to be listed on Coinbase and has a low market cap for such a big project. It is sitting just under seven times less than its competitor, Akash Network. They have solid partnerships already with PlayStation and AMD, where they are partnering up to find better ways to utilize the hardware. Kudos has an amazing service, however, marketing is not one of their strong factors, as they are very focused on the technical side. If they are able to market their blockchain services very well, they will most certainly grow, and they will grow at a rapid pace. The third and final coin is Aether. So what is Aether? Aether is also a cloud infrastructure platform. However, its core focus is tailored to gaming and AI technology. For gaming, the way that it works is that a game is installed on Aether's cloud service, and then this is streamed to gamers who are able to play from wherever, whenever and from whatever device without having to download or install the game. This concept of course exists, however what makes Aether different is that it can deliver games with extreme GPU powers. What this basically means is that high quality games can be played on basic devices and this will guarantee gamers all across the world fast rendering graphics, latency free gaming and smooth experiences. So why does Aether have potential? This project has been building for around 2-3 to three years and already has around $24 million worth of equipment which is providing services which is distributed to around 25 locations and 13 countries. In comparison to their competitors, they have by far the most GPUs running to support the gaming and AI technology with over 4000 NVIDIA H100 GPUs. To note that these GPUs currently cost around $20,000 to $30,000 each. They can provide the power of these GPUs to enterprises who require them, whether it is for AI technology or the gaming sector, and the enterprises do not need to pay for the entire GPU unit, they only need to pay for the power that they need to consume. Aether have a backing of around $9 million from various capital investors, who are big in the gaming space and understand the high demand of this growing sector. With that capital up front, they have a lot of room to market their services, broaden their awareness and scale even further. This project is very early and the token has not launched yet and they are currently in the process of selling their 100,000 decentralized nodes which can be operated from any computer. Remember, with every early project there is a higher risk as you cannot determine where the project is heading. Taking higher risks of course means higher rewards if it pays off. Once again, this video was created to shine light on these crypto projects and not investment advice. I hope you found it useful. Please stay subscribed, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you all for watching. Peace.